Hey everyone, in this video we are going to solve the near 100 exercise in the Java warm-up 1 section of CodingBat.com. Let's get started. We are given an int n and we're supposed to return true if it is within 10 of 100 or 200. And then it gives us a note that math.abs, which stands for absolute value, computes the absolute value of a number. What we want to do is return true if the difference between n and 100 is 10 or below. The way to find the difference as a positive value is using math.absoluteValue, which is abs, and then we want to do n minus 100, and that will get the difference between them, and the math.absoluteValue will put it into a positive number, and we want to find if it's less than or equal to 10. And we're going to do the same thing, but for 200, because that's what it asked for. So that's our two statements. Also, we want to return false if neither of those two statements evaluate to true. Let's write our if statements. The first one will be if math.absoluteValue, abs, of n minus 100 is less than or equal to 10, what do we want to do? We are going to return true here. And we're going to do that exact same thing. I'm just going to copy and paste, actually. We're going to do that exact same thing for n minus 200. That'll get the difference between n and 200. Return true if that evaluates to true. And then we're going to return false here. And that means if it's greater than 10, in both of these cases, it will return false. Let's check this out. Oh, perfect. And I got a gold star. But we can further optimize this. If you notice again here, we have these two statements that return true one right after another. They can be combined into an OR statement because if math the absolute value of n minus 100 is less than or equal to 10, it returns true. And same as this, if that equals true, it returns true. Let's put that into the other if statement combined with an OR. And we can get rid of this other return true. Let's check it out. It works perfectly. Also again, if this entire expression evaluates to true, we return true. If it evaluates to false, we return false. That means we can just return the evaluation of this expression. Let's put a return here, semicolon at the end, and we can get rid of everything else. It should work perfectly. There you go. That's it for this tutorial. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.